Hey, hey, YouTubers, it's Joy again, and it's the same day. It is uh, recording anyway. It's Thursday the 5th at 2.17. Um, and I thought we would do something with scraps today. It's just going to be some collaging and uh, hopefully some ideas that you can do with scraps. If you're like me, you have too many scraps. I'm going to show you those and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Um, get some paper out here to glue on and a glue stick. So these scraps, I think, are just going to be too heavy. It's a lot of card stock. From my old scrapbooking days, though, too. That would be cute in a book. I'm going to stick that in my ephemera tub. So I think all of this is card stock, which really isn't going to work fabulously for what I want to do. But never fear, more scraps are near. Um, I have no perfect way of um, organizing scraps at all. So I have these trays, and I kind of, sort of, I don't know why that's even in here. Oh, it was an extra page, if you remember from the journal that I did a flip through. Just an extra page. I should put that somewhere. Um, so I'm semi-organized, not great with scraps, but, you know, these are supposed to be colored ones. These are the white tear-offs for like stamping or I could edge these and use these as backing to write on. This is kind of just odds and ends. <laughs> this is book pages, things that I have stamped or punched out and again strips and tidbits of this and that and the other thing. And same with this, really, I think it's just kind of bigger pieces and more kind of the brown type papers. So, I think we're going to use those. So, I've seen Gail do this. Um, you know, she's my favorite YouTuber. I have lots of favorites, but she's my number one. Um, I've seen her do this on postcards. I can't remember where she, sorry, I keep looking, where she got the idea um, I, you know, I don't know. She's really great about posting it, but I just, if I like an idea, I just run with it. Um, but she did it with pokes cards, but I was like, well, why couldn't we do that with, I have a gazillion index cards and they're cheap. Um, so why can't we do those collage on this side? And then this side can be, you know, for writing, you can slip these into a pocket or something. So that's all we're going to do today is do some collaging. And if you do have postcards and you want to do one side like that, great. Um, I could actually do these with um, that paper, scrap paper I just showed you. And this could actually be the writing side. And this could be, you know, some kind of focal point or something. I think we're just going to do that many. So... Some people love to collage, some people don't. I have to be in the mood for it. It's not something that makes me want to hurry up and sit down and collage. I'm not that wild about it. I mean, I do it, don't get me wrong, but just kind of putting those together because I'm not going to worry about what's on what. I'm just, I'm collaging this whole thing and then we're going to cut those. So I really don't want to do a lot of thinking about it either. Um, and I just have some papers over here that I'm going to glue on. I either do that or I use a, um, you know, a book. So let's just dive in and start and not even think about it. And can you see me gluing? Probably not. But this is, a, I find collaging relaxing when I have just brain fog and can't figure out what to make or where to start on something. 
These are going to be slickery on here, aren't they? That's all right. We will trim off whatever we don't use. I'm thinking I need to slide these up more out of my way. And I don't know if I can adjust the camera. Let's see. Yeah. That's better. Okay. We're going with it. Again, not thinking, just grabbing and putting them down because it really doesn't matter in hindsight because you're going to cut these up and it's just a background. All we're creating is a background. It's not going to be your final product unless you wanted to cover these in, in pretty neutral things to um, as your backing. You certainly could do that. And you certainly could do the other side of these, you know, that way. I'm going to try and just get these put together a little bit. Yeah, this mat is making these real slippery. If I get quiet, sorry. No reason, no reason for it at all. So what have you guys been making? I'm never going to get these fall journals done that I have the ambition to do. Because, you know, it's already October. What did we say it was? The 5th. And I swear, and I know it's not just me, but we are all so busy this time of year. This is a little heavier, but a pull piece off would work, I think. The sad thing about scraps is you can never get rid of them if you're a a paper crafter. We just never, we just are always going to have scraps. They're always going to be here. But I find this, um, sometimes will, you know, spark a thought to be creative when I'm having a block. Or I, sometimes my blocks, I think, are I'm overwhelmed. I have too much, too many projects going on. It's a jelly printing that I did. And I think when we get like that is when we all struggle. So that's when I will just put paint on paper just to be doing something. Or oftentimes that's when I will collage. And sometimes it does spark, you know, I just sit here and think and think. And then it kind of sparks, oh, I could do this, or oh, I could do that, or And some people love fussy cutting. Fussy cutting is not, to me, that's like laundry. <gasps> I don't like laundry at all. I'd rather clean bathrooms every day for the rest of my life. I think because it's just never ending. Put them in the wash. Then they got to wash. Then they got to dry. And then you got to put them away. And I have a wonderful wa new washer and dryer. I think we had it a year. I mean, and it's fast. I mean, I was like, gosh, I didn't know dryers could dry so fast. Um, we just had the one that was here when we moved, bought this house. And um, it's super fast. I mean, it's... It's just I don't like, I, I like to do a chore and be done. Clean the bathrooms, it's done. I hate dusting as well because it's, it comes back. It's a trick. 
but I like a clean and tidy house. Otherwise, but I will tell you, dusting, don't come here if you're looking for spot free, because it's not at this house. Swept, clean kitchen, clean bathrooms, dust I don't care about. So what's your guys' arch enemy of chores? And yeah, these are going to have to get trimmed, but that's okay. You kind of see where I'm going, I think. Yeah. A few more things out of here, and then I'm going to switch to some of this other and see what we get. Sorry if I get quiet. Sometimes I forget the camera's on and I'm not just crafting by myself. You guys are here. So we're off next week, my husband and I. Woo. We're gonna take one little day trip. Maybe, maybe another, I don't know yet. Um, A covered bridge festival. Can't wait. And then we're going to do things around the house, like fall cleanup, um, our building that I told you I just found another tub of paper. Hopefully get all those boxes done and out of there. Get that building done so my husband's wood shop can be more accessible. He, um, he did, let's get some things out of here and then we're going to move this tray. Did rearrange and got some things started out there. So I know he's happy about that. And I'm happy. I'm looking for, I found one of the pictures that I've been wondering where it was. That I saved a wall to hang on and it's hung up. And, um, a piece of wallpaper. And I have more crafts out there. All right, let's just start with that up there. It's this one. All right. Let's see what we can use out of these. Didn't mean to have those out there. I don't want the green. Use this. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah. Tell me what your worst chore is. What you would rather not ever do again in your life. <laughs> it's a little piece, but we're going to use it because it just was left behind. We'll stick this on there somewhere too. About right here. My fingers are getting gluey. Here's that test I was doing on my printer. I've changed the ink in it twice and I've cleaned the heads on it like it's suggested. So if you guys have any tips on that, I would appreciate that because I really don't want to spend the money to get another printer. But I print a lot of stuff, as most of us do. Whether it's digitals that I buy or, oh, where are we gonna put this one? Or things that I print out for my art books. This is a little heavier paper, so I'm hoping the glue stick will be fine on it. So I want to play with nine different glues today. It's always fun to um, see how this comes out when you cut them up. It's a lot of fun when you do it on paper. You just do one sheet of paper and then you just flip it over and cut it up and see what you have.
And really, I shouldn't be doing this much thinking. Grabbing glue, grabbing glue, grabbing glue. Do some bigger pieces and save these little pieces for fill in. So yeah, we we're planning that day trip to a covered bridge festival because I love covered bridges and the colors, of course, this time of year. And we're going to do some work around the house. Mostly out in our building, probably. And then we have, this is our 10th year of our Halloween bash. So we will be doing you know, fall cleanup that needs done anyway, but then also um, getting things ready for, you know, our Halloween party, which is always a blast. Our neighbors are joining in this year with us, so um, that'll be super fun as well because we'll have more people and the only requirement is you come in costume so we have our costumes I'm gonna be well, I don't want to say I'm gonna wait because not everybody knows what I'm gonna be and I don't know who I was watching my videos I hope a lot of people <laughs> eventually uh, I need to change that paper again clearly Lots of gluing going on. There's a big piece. Let's see what we can get out of this. Two sided, so that's great. Let's see, there's some pieces. I can just use these little scraps on. Mm -mm. It'll stick real well on the wallpapery. Usually these torn edges bother me and I would be inking them, but since we're collaging, you kind of have to let that go. <laughs> or you will be um, inking forever. Forever and ever. And those are hanging off the side and that's perfectly fine because I will be trimming these. And this is probably all we're going to do today. But I certainly can go over these with ink later. So yeah, what are you guys doing for Halloween? Do you guys do a party or I'm sure many of you are taking kids trick or treating? I miss trick or treaters. You know, where we live we don't get them. <laughs> um it's too rural. I used to go to my son's house and pass out candy just so I could see the trick or treaters because it's just so much fun. Especially those young ones or their first time and it's just fun to see them. these three pieces and then I have to get some more scraps out. Yay! And sometimes you just gotta throw those scraps out as we all know. It feels weird though. <laughs> I will say that it feels very weird to throw scraps away.
See, I was going to decorate for fall today. That didn't happen. I took a nap instead. I think I was tired. I've been up early the past three days to babysit. That's one of my jobs that I have. So I think I needed the rest. Getting there, guys. That one's done. Let's see what other... Anything out of there. Don't know if I want anything out of there. I don't think so. There's a bat. Let's see what I can dig out of here. Some green. I'll use that. I'll use that. There's a little strip of what we were already using. Some music paper. Some yellow in there. Let's get those. I'm going to need some bigger pieces, I think. Oh, that'll be cute. I don't know that I want this tissue or any black. Maybe some black. Let's get that out of there. All right, let's work on these. So yeah, I've got to get um, you know my butt and gear here, my rear and gear. I'll be getting these videos, you know, recorded so I can at least then have them and post them. So just getting organized, you know. And I, I said this, I think, before, but I feel like when school starts, not that I have kids in school anymore, but my grandkids go, you know, do... I feel like it's just such a busy time from September on as we, you know, are just doing all the holiday stuff. Oh, we are taking my one granddaughter out for her birthday dinner tonight. She was too busy last week. do that. That's something fun to look forward to. Again, I apologize if I'm getting quiet. I'm just uh, gluing away here. And this is probably boring. Watching me glue. And then me going silent on you. are a lot thicker than the other pieces but it's working with the glow stick the good old faithful ooh -hoo. I think I mentioned I think I need to get my Etsy up and going again too to post journals on and I would love to sell like ephemera packs and stuff. I've had requests from just friends in other states about that because you know some people don't have the access to things like you know we have or I have you know like um, Goodwills and you know places like that that we get a lot of our stuff. I have a couple really fun antique places that I go to. 
and get fun stuff. Just pilfering through here again. There's a spider web. Looking for some bigger pieces to kind of fill in here and get this done. What are you doing? Doing good time wise. So yeah, kids go back to school. If they're in any kind of sports, you're dealing with that. Or if your grandparents are going to that. And then before you know it, it's trick or treat. And Thanksgiving. And then Christmas, which is my all time favorite holiday. I don't like winter. I don't like the cold and I don't like the snow. Yes, it's pretty when it first falls, but but I don't have to go out in it, but my husband still does and drives to work and the kids and so of course, you know, mommy and grandma worry about that sometimes. But um I just feel like it's just a busy time, the holidays. And coordinating everybody's schedules and who all's going to be here and who's not and like for Thanksgiving and such I'm referring to. This is the granddaughter Elena, which I think I mentioned her maybe in one of my videos. She likes she likes to bake and she loves Halloween. didn't want the spider website. Hooey. Oh well. Whoopsies. Whoops a daisies. So after this video, I gotta see how much time I have and maybe I can get another one done. And I gotta do all the cleanup <laughs> that we have to do uh, when we're crafting or, you know, we're videoing. So I'm gonna put this, I wanna put it right there because I don't wanna see that torn edge. It bothers me bubbles me a bit. I'm not worried about that white edge because y'all know I'm going to ink it. So it wasn't supposed to rain till later, but it's already come a shower. We need the rain. I just don't want it to be raining late into October. And the 21st is our party. Um, because then you, you, I feel like when it gets all rainy and the leaves, you don't get to enjoy fall. We have not had much rain in the past couple of months at all. And we sit on, well, it runs through our property, a creek. And it's low. Low, 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 low. I think this was from a calendar or a magazine. A little shiny, but I'm not real worried about it. I can dull it down if I want with some, you know, matte medium. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm so excited. 
And then I'll have what? Nine cards, journal cards, ready to do whatever with. So that is awesome. I like how Tina will, from Shabby Dabby Doodah, mass make things that she's doing. That's what I did with those envelopes that I showed you. Um, of course, I can't find it now because I already put it away. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Altina or Gail, whoever had done it. Just set and made batches, you know. So I could have more of these ready if I wanted to. And just, this would be cute somewhere like that. are getting a little thick. Don't stick to me. Stick to the paper, please. Pray, please. Let's see there, there. And you guys see anywhere else? Definitely going to be inking over the top of this, I can tell. <laughs> Just to catch some of my flowers. So since I babysit, you know, I have all of these songs in my head. Mercy. My husband sometimes is like, um, I'm like, well, this is what I do all day. With a nine month old and a just turned three and four year old. I don't have them every day and I don't have them all at once all the time. Let's see, so I need a piece here, there, and there for sure. I'll use that somewhere. I don't really want pink. I'll use that somewhere. So I'm afraid I might jump out in song for you guys because I have these kids' songs stuck in my head. It's gonna be so cute. I think I just have that left. This gets it. And then I'm just looking to see. I don't really see any other spots, do y'all? Holla if you do. Um, that's white, but when I ink the edge of these, I think that might be a piece there. But when I ink the edge, you know, the edges, that'll cover up any of that white. Not too worried about it. And again, I could have covered these with more muted papers and these could have been the backs you know to write on like I could have went neutrals you know like that on these I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about 
All right, let's, um, I think it's all good. Let's get these cut up. And then see what we have. Hopefully I'm on the camera well. I'm concentrating on cutting. So sorry. But now I have nine cards ready to go. I mean, the backs need something done with them, obviously. And these obviously are not necessarily for journals that I've been talking about. on that one, Joy. Give some heft to these cards, too, the glue and the um, papers. Keeping in suspense to look at the other side, including myself. But that was fast, easy to do, I think. All right, let's clean this mess up and take a peek at these. Then I'll let you go. All right, so again, this side will be for writing, you know, need some decorating. I probably will put some Liquitex on the top of these, but these can go this way or it can go this way and then they just need a focal point and a word. There's that one. I really like that one. So like a word on that as your background would be really cute. And any of the white that you see once I ink them. So you could put Mod Pot. Ooh, I like that one. So yeah, you could do Mod Podge or um, Liquitex on top. Pardon my reach. Pardon me. I just want to do a couple of these real quick. Just to cover up those torn edges. Let's go need some glue. Raining again. So if I find places like this that need glue, I end up getting a different glue out. And usually it's my art glitter glue. And because there's so many layers and different types of paper, I think that's why I'm gonna seal these. It's raining really hard now. Hopefully my outside cats are where they need to be. So yeah, there's those. I'm gonna, uh, off camera, I will uh, finish inking these. And um, if I do anything else to them, I will share them on the next video, which I'm hoping to record here real soon. All right, happy day. Be blessed. See you next time.